This creamy chicken curry has rich layers of flavor and makes an easy everyday meal. Hi, and you're watching Plating It with Wendy, where I share with you recipes which impress with these. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, share, and comment. And if you enjoy trying out recipes that turn out right every time, then go ahead, press that subscribe button. And while you're at it, if you hit that bell icon, you'll be the first one to get notified every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get started. For this recipe, we're gonna be going in with 800 grams of chicken, and we're gonna go in with a mix of chicken drumsticks and chicken thighs. And I always like to use bone and chicken for this recipe because it adds a lot of flavor. We're gonna marinate the chicken with some spices. We're gonna go in with one tablespoon of Kashmiri chili powder. Kashmiri chili powder is mild in spice, but it's going to give our chicken curry a lovely vibrant red color. And to that, we're gonna add half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of coriander powder, and one teaspoon of cumin powder. And now to that, we're gonna add some salt and I'm gonna go in with about a teaspoon of salt. And to give the chicken a little bit of tang, we're gonna go in with one and a half tablespoon of lemon juice. Now let's mix this all together and make sure that the chicken pieces get coated on all sides with all the spices that we have put in. Let's give it a good mix. You want the spice to get on both sides of the chicken pieces. Okay, now that our chicken pieces are all well coated with the spices, let's keep them aside and come on over to the stove. Let's bring our curry together. To a deep heavy bottom pan on a medium heat, we're gonna add half a cup of oil. And into that, we're gonna to toss four green cardamoms, five cloves, one two inch stick of cinnamon, and two bay leaves. These spices are gonna flavor the chicken curry and make it really aromatic. And to that, we're gonna add two medium-sized onions, which I have finely chopped. And this is about 300 grams of onion. We're gonna saute this till the onions turn a nice golden brown. This should take us about 10 to 12 minutes. The onions are gonna give the curry a thick consistency and a sweet flavor. The onions are beginning to turn a nice golden brown. Just about another minute or two and we should be there. Okay, the onions are looking really good. So let's add in the tomato. And we're gonna be adding two medium sized tomatoes, which I have finely chopped. And this is about 200 grams. And to that we're gonna add one tablespoon of garlic paste and half a tablespoon of ginger paste. And one green chili, which I have finely chopped. Now we're going to saute this till the tomatoes turn soft and the ginger and garlic lose their raw flavor. This should take about another five minutes or so. This is such an easy chicken curry to cook and it makes an excellent weekday meal. It does not involve any grinding of a curry paste, it's just dry spices and I had got a lot of requests from subscribers asking for a curry like this. So this one goes out to all of them. Okay, the tomatoes and the onions have now become one happy family. So let's toss in the chicken. Just gonna mix the chicken up with the onions and the tomatoes. And we're gonna saute it for about 10 minutes. You want a little color to come on the chicken. You're gonna increase the heat to a medium high. Just gonna keep flipping them from side to side so that they don't burn on any side. When searing the chicken and flipping the pieces over, make sure to be a little gentle with them so that you do not shred the chicken. A good tip is to use a wooden spatula or a spoon when cooking the chicken. The chicken has got a good sear, so now we're going to go in with one and a half cup of water and this is going to help to form the curry. Let's give this a light mix. 
and I'll be going to lower the heat to medium and allow the chicken to cook for another 10 minutes or so. You can see that the onions that we had added have made the curry nice and thick. The chicken is already looking so good, but we're going to allow it to cook for another 4 minutes in the curry before we add in the coconut milk. And now for an added flavor and a ton of creaminess, we're going to add in half a cup of coconut milk. And to balance the flavors, we're going to go in with one teaspoon of sugar. And this is totally optional. We're going to give this a stir so that everything blends well together. We can check for the salt later. We're just going to allow the chicken to cook completely before we taste it. Once again, gently flipping it. And now we're going to cover it with the lid and allow the chicken to cook. Our chicken is looking absolutely delicious, but let's finish it off with half a teaspoon of garam masala and just a tad bit more of salt. We're going to mix this up. Let it cook for about a minute or so. Now, chicken curry is ready, so we can take out the bay leaves because their job is done. And the cinnamon stick. Our chicken has cooked and is looking absolutely delicious. Let's switch up the heat and garnish it with some freshly chopped cilantro. And there you go, dinner is ready. Oh my goodness, look at that. And this chicken curry can be enjoyed on a bed of warm rice or any bread of your choice. Let's top it with a piece of chicken and some curry. And now it's time to give our chicken curry a taste. Wow, I can't wait. Wow, the chicken is so soft, so well cooked. Amazing. And that curry is so nice and thick. Mm. This chicken curry is a winner. This is my family's favorite and I just love making it because it's so easy and quick to put together. So it's a win-win for me. And I'm sure if you give this recipe a try, it's going to be your family favorite too. So hop onto my website platingitwithwendy.com where you will find the full written recipe. Thanks for watching. See you soon.